What's up guys, Chef I'm here coming back with something very unusual for my channel. I'm going to be doing a texture pack review. This is SMP Revival. This is probably one of my favorite texture packs. It's really, really cool. I think it's 16 by 16, so it's nothing HD. None of the textures are going to be messed up. It doesn't increase lag, and it's just a great, great looking pack. So, uh, or, or resource pack, whatever you want to call it nowadays. I still like the texture pack terminology, but you can call it a resource pack if you truly want to be correct about it. Anyways, this is my old Let's Play world, which does still exist. For those of you hoping I still play it, I, I do, I do, I, I you know, I, I may record it, I don't, I don't know. I really do miss it, though, so I may end up coming back to this, but anyway, anyways, anyways, this is just a little sneak peek of what some built structures um, look like, and you know, in the middle of the night, um, with a with a texture pack that happens to be uh, the SMP Revival map. So, or sub, the pack resourcing. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So, yeah, just to show you guys a little bit of an example of what your world may look like, I thought I'd go ahead and go into my old survival world. But, to show you formally exactly... Oh, no! Minecraft Pocket Edition didn't have to do that! I will be right back! Oh, oh! Never mind! You know, usually it crashes, but now I'm in this random world and I have no idea what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and not do that. There we go. All right. So now if we go into the texture pack. Yes, texture pack. This is the texture pack map. It is made by Battle Aviator. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I'm pretty sure it's Battle Aviator. You know what? I really should go check. But anyways, he's made this map. I've done a few modifications to it, but it just has basically has all the blocks, all the mobs, and all the cool stuff. So thank you. The map, the link for this will be below, as well as I will also link a tutorial on how exactly to get this for Android, iOS, and if you're lucky, jailbroken iOS, there's a winter board theme, which makes it a lot easier. But other than that, um... Uh, yeah, there will be tutorials, you know, for every, basically everyone, there will be tutorials below, so I will link a ton of tutorials and a ton of links to get this texture pack, because it is very cool. So, starting off with the blocks, let's just go ahead and bounce out here, this is the desert, uh, this is the desert, uh, bush majiggy with, it's just on sand, because I'm pretty sure it has to be, anyways, this is it right here, dead bush, dead bush, not desert bush, yeah, it has to be on the, Look, has to, it has to be on the sand. All right. Then we have the fern and tall grass. I really can't tell the difference. No, this one's tall grass and this one's a fern. It's got the little leaves and stuff. I see it. These are iron bars, a pumpkin, and a jekyll lantern. Here's just some normal terrain from Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's pretty bland, but Minecraft Pocket Edition itself is bland unless you download a map. So it's kind of this is what you're going to get. It's yeah, I think it personally competes with the uh, original texture pack very well. But we will go ahead and check out most of the blocks. Now, correct me if I don't have um, a certain block. I'm really, I think this is it. I've double checked. I've added a few. I think this is everything, but you know, I could be mistaken. So correct me. Let me know what I'm missing below if I am. All right. Starting off, we have this guy and this is the stone. It's it's just the original. It's just the OG stone. It's just um, pretty cool. It kind of looks like the old gravel, but it is what it is. And then this guy right here we have is the cobblestone. Now, it looks a lot like stone bricks, but that's what a lot of texture packs do. It's, it's nice. It's nice. And we have the dirt, the glass, the grass, the wooden planks, which is really, really cool because I'm on fire now. Thank you. All right. There we go. <laughs> All right, so which is really cool because they all have different textures. Now, it's not just different colors. They all have different patterns. So it's basically just a really, really cool design thing majig that they added by, you know, making them look different, not only just color different. And here are the mobs. I'll go over the mobs later. They're pretty cool. Anyways, the stairs, the brick stairs, the sandstone. I don't know what that's called. This one's the one that has the creeper faces. This is the regular stuff, and this is the smoother stuff. And then, of course, you have some variants of all that. Here are your core blocks, your pillar quartz, you know, mystical flagital quartz, and then the smooth quartz, and then the quartz stairs, and this is, oh, this is obsidian, I'm pretty positive, no, because, because, is it nether brick? No, 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 uh, this is, what did I put here? This has to be obsidian, yes, it is, I called it, called it the first time, all right, there we go, so that is obsidian, and we have the snow and ice friends over here. We have a sign, nether reactor core, 
a cool cake, which has got this nice little pink frosting, some nice blueberry, raspberry toppings. It, it was looking fine. Over here we have a regular sapling, a birch sapling, a pine sapling, and a regular sapling. This one is a jungle one, I'm pretty sure. But what in the world? It doesn't look like a jungle one to me. Anyways, it was hacked in, so, I mean, it is what it is. If that is the jungle one, then that's pretty cool, although it's not in this game yet. It's it's kind of just there, but it's not really there, which is pretty cool. Then we have the nether brick and nether racks stuff over here. The flames, which are pretty cool. They're not edited, unfortunately, but at least they do work. You know, if they, if some texture packs try to edit them and they don't really look well, or they don't, like, clash, at, and, and then there's, like, water streams inside there and stuff. This... This is working good. Then we have a crafting table, a chest, opening, closing animation, just there for you all. It's very, very cool. We have the furnace, the stone cutter, block, and then, a, and then this is just a single chest. We have the different leaves. This would be regular, birch, pine, and... Wait, what the, what the, what the? No, jungle, regular, birch, and pine. See, I got it. They, they have the jungle stuff in here, which is throwing me off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All right, now, these are the jungle woods, the pine woods, the birch, and then the regular woods, which are pretty cool. The trees look phenomenal in this pack, in my opinion. So, now we have reached the inner circle. I'll go ahead and start with this door. We have a wooden door, closing and opening animations. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like it, I like it. We leave that open. There is a glowstone. Um, we have some fence. Uh, you know, the usual, some glass pane, some, what is it, Bed uh, bedrock, then we have some coal block, then we have the diamond, lapis, iron, and, what am I missing, what am I missing, come on now, diamond, iron, lapis, and gold, gold, that's what you are. You look, like, you look like a bronze to me, which confuses me. But, yes, they all have different designs, and they're really, really cool. These would be awesome for decorative uh, pieces, and I think it looks better than what the other ones do. I mean, anyways, they, they kind of pop. They kind of look pretty cool. These are the ores themselves. I will go over that in just a minute. This is the Grevel. Um, over here, we have the redstone, the lapis, the diamonds, the iron, um, excuse me, the gold, the iron, and the coal. Now, what I really like is the gold is kind of like softer and, and smushed in there, just like it would be in real life. I don't know about how diamonds and iron look in real life, but they all have their different flavors to them. They all kind of feel different, so I think, you know, it, it will be very easy to distinguish them. Obviously, if you're colorblind, I mean, the only ones that are really similar are the coal and the, uh, and the lapis, so you're good on that, guys. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, that would actually be really hard to play this game colorblind. Now that I think about it, because, yeah, that would be really difficult. Any anyways, I'm getting off topic. Here is the lava and water. They have not changed. Down here we have the red and brown mushroom. The brown one's like 15 feet tall, which is crazy, but it is, you know, it, it, it you know, it deserves to be, you know, it's, it's, it's worked, it, it's worked its life. We have the sponge, the TNT, this, um, this cool little stone brick. I don't know the specific terminology. I don't think it's actually in this in this form of the game, is it not? Is it? It is. It is not. So it's it's the it's the squiggly one or something like that. You guys know what it is. Let me check. It, if it if it has a name, do you have a name, buddy? Do you have a name? I don't. Yeah, I don't think he's in here. But it, you know, it is. It is in the texture, so that's pretty cool. We have the hay bale majigger, and then we have the trap door, and this dude. Which what in the world are you, buddy? Oh my gosh, you're clay. That's what I, you know, clay, clay. All right, then we have the flowers, some more gravel. Uh, we have the cactus, and just on top, there's something to stop it from growing. And the something that it happens to be is the redstone, uh, the redstone little lamp majiggy thing that's inside the nether reactor. I don't know what it's called. Glowing obsidian, I believe. But anyways, we have some more glowstone, some malone, and the uh, the cobblestone fences, the mossy and the regular ones. So, then we have the iron door as well. Forgot to mention that. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, stop it. No, I'm in this now. Goodness. I didn't want to put that there. All right, so now we have the cool wool carpets, and then we have some different wool colors. You know, the wool, I don't like it, but it kind of looks, you know, it kind of looks like thatch, so I guess the brown one would be cool, but other, the other ones aren't that, aren't that on point, in my opinion. But we do have the rails and the powered rails, which are pretty cool. 
Over here, some more slabs. The bed, we have the netherrack stairs, some stone bricks, some smooth stone bricks, some mossy coon stone bricks, some, la some mossy cobblestone, and all, and, all, and all of that and all of that. So, next up, we do have a few things. I want to show you guys the paintings on this. Um, they're really, really cool. One of them is like a wine kind of cabinet sort of thing. The other one is a banner that you could put on a wall. The other one's a nice snowy painting. This one is one that you could use in the kitchen. It's got like spoons and stuff on it. And you know, they're, they're just, you know, a wide variety of them. So some of them are very useful. Now we have a chicken here. The chicken looks sort of normal. The cow's got this nice brown tint to it. It's, it's fairly cool. I mean, these aren't changed drastically, but they kind of have the colors and stuff changed. The, the pig is very pale. I'm going to go ahead. You know what I'm going to do? No, I think they can walk through that. Never mind. And then we have, of course, the sheep, which is, you know, basically the same, but it's a little bit grayer. Here we have some skeletons. I don't know why they put two in here, but the head's a little messed up. But other than that, you know, they're still scary and all that jazz. Then we have the zombies, and uh, I don't know why. I don't know why they're next to the chicken. Then we have the zombie pigmen, which are really, really cool. Um, They got these purple looking faces and body parts and stuff like that, which is always, always fun. We have these tannish looking cave spider looking things with black mustache beard going on things. And that's, you know, who can, who can, who can complain about that? Then downstairs we have these creepers, which are looking fabulous. So that is basically the SMP revival texture pack. Now, if you guys are looking out, you know, and you want to try to get this for yourself, I will again, like I said, leave all the links below, tutorials, the download links, you know, articles, I don't, I don't care, I'll, I'll list a ton of stuff below to help you guys get this and get on the way with it. So, I thank you for watching this texture pack review, hopefully you enjoyed, if you did, please go ahead and leave a like, I will talk to you guys later, and as always, stay frosty my friends, peace guys, see ya.